So once you've finished your analogous colors worksheets, yellow, green, blue, purple, red, orange, and the colors next to it, orange, yellow, yellow, green, and so on, you're going to grab a smaller piece of paper and a Sharpie. And we're going to draw geodes, kind of the crystallization of forms that grow up from the ground. And we're going to start with three diamonds. So I'm going to draw just a normal diamond right in the middle. When we say the word diamond, just kind of the average diamond that we usually think about. And then next to it, I'm going to draw another diamond. But this diamond might be just a little bit wider. So it's still a diamond, it's just a different shape. And then last, on this other side, I'm going to draw another diamond. Maybe this one's just a little bit longer and a little bit thinner. Then finally, down here at the bottom, I'm going to draw kind of a rough, bumpy line that represents the ground. Put some little curved lines to make the texture look rough. Now, going back to my diamonds, though, I'm going to draw a straight line down from each corner that would touch the ground. What I mean is by this diamond, I'm going to draw a vertical line that goes down to the ground. This corner down, this corner down. Now, obviously, I don't need to draw this line because that's on the other side. I can't see it. So I'm going to go to my next diamond, straight line down. Now, that's in the way, so that's going to appear to be behind this one. Straight line down, straight line down. And then finally, my last one which can be a little bit tricky because these two dots are real close to each other, but we can still pull it off. Three vertical lines from each diamond. Once you have them drawn, you're gonna pick three of the colors from your worksheet to color in your geodes. For instance, if I want this one to be green, looking at my worksheet, I'm gonna start with just green at the top. But then on one side, I'm going to go yellow-green, so I'm going to use green. Yes, I did it at the top. And then I'm going to blend with yellow. And then on the other side, I'm going to go back to green. But instead of yellow, I'm going to use the other analogous color. When you're finished, you're gonna to go to the next one. If you like, you get a little fancy with it. What I mean by that is if I decide to use blue, I can start on the edge of this diamond, then as I get closer to the middle, I can get lighter and lighter. Start on the edge and get lighter and lighter to create more of a reflective surface. Then I can do the same thing on the sides. So I'm gonna start off dark on the side, Get lighter and lighter. Start on the side. Get lighter and lighter. But I still have to use the analogous color, so I'll use green on top. Go back to blue. Dark on the line. Get lighter and lighter. Again, this is only if you want to try something a little bit more challenging, a little bit more difficult, or you can just do what we did in the beginning. Blue lighter. Last one, maybe I'll do orange. So orange, where the basic color is always going to be at the top.